As election season in Israel kicks off, minority groups are finding themselves ever so desperate for representation in Israeli politics. Minority groups, including the Israeli Arabs and Ethiopians, are seeking more representation in the next Israeli elections. Arab Israelis, including some 300,000 Bedouins, are descendants of Palestinians who remained after the creation of Israel in 1948. They now make up around 21% of Israel's population and say they are systematically discriminated against by the regime. The Arab parties running in the upcoming elections are United Arab List, Ta'al, Balad, and for the first time they are running together with the Arab Jewish Hadash party. They are running together under a joint list. The Israeli right wing and far right parties are not happy about such ambitions and arrangements by minorities, so they're teaming up against them to keep the status quo. <laughs> ובפרט בירושלים זה צריך להיות קשור לעיר עצמה ולא מקפצה. Israeli hardliners are in for a tough fight as the Arab population of Israel has had enough of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. So satisfied of the decision to have early election. This government led by Benjamin Netanyahu is a catastrophe, economical, political, deadlock in the Israeli-Palestinian track, racist notions, mainly the nationality bill, high prices. We are here in order to work all together to bring down Netanyahu. I wish and I call all Arabs to go to vote in order to bring Mr. Netanyahu down and change the government. Israel was created as a Jewish state, uh, which privileges Jews over non-Jewish citizens. And thus, Palestinians being non-Jewish citizens um, are then marginalized uh, in the legal system, in the educational system, in their ability to get uh, best jobs, to live in certain places. Um, and I think uh, that it's a reflection of the fact that this is a Jewish state, and so Jews are privileged over non-Jews. Netanyahu is seeking a fifth term in office. If successful, he will become Israel's longest serving prime minister. But Netanyahu is in legal trouble and has been indicted on corruption charges. He, however, insists he will not resign. <laughs> ישראל היא מדינת חוק, ולפי החוק ראש הממשלה לא צריך להתפטר בתהליך של שימוע. So far, Netanyahu can run unless there is a hearing according to Israeli law, at least according to him. זה פגיעה איומה בדמוקרטיה. בדמוקרטיה קובעים מי שיהיה בשלטון לפי הקלפי, ולא לפי תהליך משפטי חלקי. The Arab citizens of Israel are not the only minority to seek representation. In fact, Jews from the Ethiopian community are doing the same too. They too complain of being marginalized despite being Jewish and living in Israel. Recently in Tel Aviv, this protest of Ethiopian Jews shows the mistreatment they face living in Israel. <laughs> Israelis are divided over Netanyahu's decision to go to early elections in April after the ruling coalition appeared to come up short on votes needed to pass a contentious piece of court-ordered legislation. So what do Israelis think? Does Netanyahu have a chance of being the next Israeli prime minister again? <laughs> אבל כדאי להחליף. אני נצמדת בבחירה שלי בביבי. 
ואני חושבת שהוא היחיד שחזק להחזיק פה את המדינה. אחרת חוץ מביבי, כי אין מה לעשות. ווואלה, שכבר יעשו משהו, באמת. צריך לעשות משהו עם מה שקורה במדינה הזאת. ועם כל הכבוד לביבי, שאנחנו חושבים שזה רק הוא, אבל יאללה, כפרה, תתעורר עליך, תתעורר על עצמך. צריכים אותך. אתה רציני פה. קצת מפחיד הברית הזאת, אבל האמת, באינטרס הישראלי... I'm not sure that Netanyahu himself uh, was, until today, uh, quite certain about it. I think that he's quite ambivalent, because on the one hand, it looks as if uh, he might benefit from early elections. According to the public opinion polls, uh, the Likud is quite popular, he is quite popular, and as we all know, he's under all kinds of investigations. And there is a feeling among the right-wing voters, not only Likud supporters, but also other right-wing voters, that he is being hunted for actually nothing. So that's a feeling. I don't know whether it's true or not, but that's a feeling. And because of that, he can benefit from new elections. Professor Reuven Hazan from the Department of Social Science at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem Al-Quds believes that the upcoming elections are not about minorities but are all about the right wing. The next elections in Israel, which now are likely to be in early April, are basically going to be a battle within the right wing in Israel. In other words, how far ahead Netanyahu's Likud party will come out and how much power he will have in the next multi-party coalition government. He goes on to say that the current regime in Israel is just unpopular and has a very thin majority in the Israeli Knesset or parliament. The current government in Israel is a very thin majority of 61 out of 120. In other words, it has a difficult time functioning and it has already been in power for almost four years, which means elections were inevitable and everyone knew that they were coming. The only thing that happened today is that all of the members in the current majority decided that they can no longer govern like this, that they know an election is a few months away inevitably. So they're going to bring the elections up and they will be held in April instead of by November, six months later, when they would have had wing swing of Israeli society, uh, the increasing levels of racism, the recent passing of the nation-state bill, uh, that there is a right-wing trend within Jewish-Israeli society. So I would uh, be surprised if um, someone from another uh, political viewpoint is elected. A recent poll by Israel's Channel 12 News shows Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu remaining best placed to form a new regime with 32 seats. Another poll by Israel Hayom shows that the minority Arab coalition will only retrieve its current five seats in the Israeli parliament. As minorities in Israel prepare for tough times ahead, the upcoming Israeli elections will once again highlight that Israel is a right-wing entity with no room for others. This is something that has been engraved in Israeli politics and in the regime itself since its inception into the region in 1948 with or without elections.